Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church of McGuanagall. It is Monday morning, October 3rd. Just briefly before we begin, uh, there were a lot of helpful comments and questions in this weekend's question and answers regarding the building expansion. Just please note that there's another time available today, 8.15 a.m. or also tonight after the Monday night service or again Thursday at the 55 and over luncheon at 1130. We begin our morning prayer. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. God is our refuge and our strength and ever-present help in trouble. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to purify us from all unrighteousness. Jesus invites you, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. Keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. Into your hands I commend my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me. The wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen. It struck me as I was reading it uh, during the service on Sunday and then listening to Pastor Bodie's sermon, these few words from Luke chapter 17. Pay attention to yourselves, Jesus says. If your brother sins, rebuke him, and if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in the day and turns to you seven times saying, I repent, you must forgive him. The apostles then said to the Lord, increase our faith. And these two naturally um, go together. If Jesus says to his disciples that forgiveness and rebuking are part of their daily lives, rebuking and then forgiveness, and um, if your brother keeps uh, repenting, then you just keep right on forgiving, and then the apostles naturally respond, increase our faith. They knew they couldn't. They knew they couldn't, surely not on their own. They knew that this this increase in forgiveness couldn't happen on their own. They knew that forgiveness is hard, and yet that's why Jesus came. Jesus came to forgive, and we forgive as we've been forgiven. This faith of ours is a living, active thing. It breathes in the forgiveness that Jesus brings to us, and it breathes out that same forgiveness. Where Christ Jesus is present, forgiveness reigns. There was a man um, by the name of Dietrich Bonhoeffer who was a Lutheran pastor, an outspoken critic of Hitler and Nazism. He wrote a book once called Life Together. I have it on my shelf. I've read part of it. But Pastor Johnston pointed me to a line from there this week. Will not another Christian's sin be an occasion for me ever anew to give thanks that both of us may live in the forgiving love of God. And while you think about a Christian community, Pastor Bonhoeffer says, this is an opportunity to live in forgiveness. I spoke at length about this yesterday in the adult instruction class. Whether that Christian community be in in the church family, whether it be in a, an extended family, whether it be in your, your nuclear family uh, right there at home, where forgiveness reigns, where we live in the forgiveness that is ours in Christ, and, and then we freely forgive others as Christ has freely forgiven us. This is the heart of our ministry. This is why Christians are to be found at St. John's, because you can't be a Christian without Jesus forgiving you. And as we've been forgiven, that we would also forgive one another. Increase our faith, the disciples cried. They recognized what a hard task was in front of them. Nay, what an impossible task was in front of them. Impossible, save for the forgiving word of Jesus, 
which is new again for you this very morning. You get to begin a new week by God's grace and his mercy, a forgiven child of God, a forgiven child of God, where opportunities abound for that forgiveness to show forth. O Lord, increase our faith for such a week and for such a life in your name. In the holy name of Jesus. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. As Jesus taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, in your bountiful goodness, keep us safe from every evil of body and soul. Make us ready with cheerful hearts to do whatever pleases you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> o Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, you've brought us safely to this new day. Defend us now with your mighty power, and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.